Well, the COVID-19 surge forcing the nation's sixth largest school district to alter its plans for the fall. Now, it's not a done deal yet, but the Broward superintendent is recommending 100% distance learning with schools uh, set to reopen on August 19th. NBC 6's Ari Audrey joins us with the story from school board headquarters. Remember just a few weeks ago, the superintendent was talking about giving students the option of coming back physically to schools five days a week when school reopens in August. Well, that option may be off the table now as the COVID-19 surge continues. So if the board agrees, the school year will start the way it ended last year with remote learning because Robert Runcie says he will not compromise the health of students and teachers. What does that mean? It means that when we open schools in the fall, I am recommending that instruction will be 100% e-learning. That is the only way we can educate our students while keeping them and their teachers healthy and safe. We cannot put people in risk at risk to die. We can't be a part of killing people. The school board members agreed with Runcie, but his recommendation is sure to anger the 31% of parents who have been asking for a return to full time in classroom instruction. Runcie said as soon as the pandemic conditions improve, the district will offer hybrid and possibly full time options, but the community needs to step up to make that happen. It will require each and every one of us to help contain community spread by wearing masks and physical distancing. There is no other way. Runcy acknowledges that distance learning creates learning gaps because it's simply not as good as classroom instruction, and the teachers' union agrees. This is what we have now. Let's figure out what will make it work, and let's work together as a team. The union president told us the teachers are ready for more instruction on how to become better online teachers, and that instruction is coming, according to Runcy and the board, between now and when the school year starts. And in the meantime, if we all do our part to contain community spread, it's possible our kids might be back in the classroom sometime during this fall semester. In Fort Lauderdale, Ari Odzer, NBC6 News.